Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here at T-Roy Cooks. I really appreciate it. I've had some requests to do some different types of meat. So I found a uh, place out of California, exoticmeatmarkets.com. Got me some ostrich fan fillets, folks. Fillets from the ostrich. And uh, they look gorgeous. We've got a couple of them here. So we're gonna check these out. We're gonna grill them up. And I also got a port wine reduction sauce. And I threw a little bit of fig preserves in there. Kind of give it a little bit of extra sweetness. And um, also got some green bean almond we're gonna throw on the side. Now I'm not, I'm not gonna show you how to make the sides. I mean, if y'all wanna see how I do them, y'all just let me know. I'll show you on a separate video. But this video is all about this ostrich. We're gonna grill it up. It's gonna be fantastic. Y'all stick around. Okay, everybody, these are those two ostrich fillets. As you can say, they look, they look really, really nice. All right, now what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this truffle oil on there. It's that white truffle oil that I used on that uh, prosciutto and smoked mozzarella. I think it'll be great on this. Put a little bit on there on each side. And we're going to wipe my hands real quick. Now, I'm going with some local stuff here. If you don't have uh, an HEB here in Texas near you, just try salt and pepper with a little garlic. This particular blend from Adams Reserve here in Austin, it's got, uh, it's got some roasted onion, roasted mushrooms, got some garlic. Uh, it's got some uh, Worcestershire powder in there. It's got it's got quite a bit of nice nice stuff. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand here. I'm going to sprinkle it on there. And we're going to let this uh, go on each side here. You can see some chunks of stuff in there. There we go. Flip her over. Do the other side. And we will uh, let this sit here until my grill gets hot. So let this sit here about 10 minutes. We'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, I've already cooked Karen's steak. Let's go ahead and cook my ostrich steak. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm thinking about two minutes on each side should, should do it. We'll be right back. All right, gang, it's been a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Looking, looking really good. A couple of more minutes and we'll be done. All right, it's been a couple of more minutes. Oh yeah, I think that's done. Yeah. Tell you what that does, the smell of that truffle oil is just intoxicating. Gorgeous. All right, everybody, let's check out this ostrich. Let's see how we did. Ah, yeah. It's looking pretty good so far. Nice, medium, rare. It's kind of, uh, you know, on the thinner side here, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, kind of more well done, but there in the middle looks good I like that I, I'm well pleased with that all right let's go ahead and uh, fix this a plate show what it looks like all right folks just got to show you this plate real quick this is a green bean almondine that I made and some mashed potatoes and you can see the port wine sauce that's got some fig in it a nice fig port wine sauce over this ostrich beautiful plate let's check out this ostrich Smells fantastic with that truffle oil on there. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I'm fixing to chow down on this. Hmm, excellent. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this again. That's good stuff. Ostrich is fantastic. Folks, hope this helps you. If you uh, have never cooked ostrich before, y'all give it a try. It's it's uh, kind of like a kind of like duck. That's the way I'd put it. It's, it's a little bit like duck. The, the beef is, it's not beef, but it's kind of red like beef and you cook it like beef, but it's, it's good, really, really good. And cook it like a medium rare to medium at the most. You don't want to dry it out. It's kind of like bison. Doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So uh, anyway, again, hope it helps y'all. If y'all enjoyed this, y'all give me a thumbs up and I hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs> Cheers everybody.